Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. This morning, I have a Police Chiefs Inclusion Council meeting. And the agenda for today's meeting is a police officer who works with the service will be speaking on immigration, refugees, and citizenship. When we analyze these words, there's an externality that is being practiced. There's an American citizen, an Indian citizen, a Canadian citizen. It's external. If we think of immigration, that also is external. It's spatial from country to country to country. <coughs> Meaningful mornings is a workshop, is a culture to stop externalizing and to start internalizing. If we just change the perspective to human, then immigration, refugees, citizenship, all of that changes, correct? All are humans. And how should we be with humans? We should love humans. Technically, that's called identifying. Whatever you love, you identify with. Whatever you identify with, you love. We do love, but there's conditions. When you love a person, that is called inspiration. When you love lots of persons, then that is called love. And if you love all persons, animals, plants, stones, that's beyond inspiration and love. That is being. You are being them. This is the trajectory for meaningful mornings. From inspiration to being. In chapter five of Bhagavad Gita, there are some seeds for chapter six and many sprouts for chapter six. It's not a black and white stop of five and start of six. One of the most prominent sprouts, one of the most prominent teachings from chapter five on how to practice contemplation, you can either enjoy or you can be joy, but you can't do both. Enjoying, I'm trying to create joy primarily with my senses. Being joy, I know I can't create joy. I have to know that I am joy. That thought is shared many times in chapter five, and I'm emphasizing that for us as we begin to practice contemplation. The end of chapter five ends with the Sankalpa Vakya. This is a statement that all that has been shared is the truth. And that we will follow the truth. Om Tat Sat 
इति श्रीमद् भगवत गीतासु उपनिषत्सु ब्रह्म विद्यायाम योग शास्त्रे श्री कृष्णार्जुन संवादे कर्म संन्यास योगो नाम पंचमोध्याय the teachings of chapter 5 karma sanyasa the implication of the word karma is doership the sense of i we have is infused with doership and that is to be sanyasa renounced renunciation is a disidentification. I disidentify from the sense that I am the doer, but you cannot just disidentify. This has to be balanced with identification. So there's a disidentification from doership. There is an identification with instrumentship. And then finally, non-doership, which is a technical term. The better phrase would be being. Disidentifying with, I can create joy. Identifying with, being joy. Orienting ourselves for chapter six. The noblest desire that any being can have is the desire for joy. Being joy. We have different phrases to describe this like mumukshutva, the desire for freedom. Sukhaprapti, the desire for being happy. In Bhagavad Gita, this is expressed as the desire to evolve from tvam to tat. From tvam to tat. Chapters 1 through 6 zoom in on tvam. Tvam means Prince Arjuna in this context. Tvam means you. I identify with Prince Arjuna in my stress, anxiety, dejection. But now we're shifting. Chapters 7 through 12, zoom in on that. Not Prince Arjuna, rather Sri Krishna. Not the stress, anxiety, dejection, rather being joyous, being joy. It is the sannyasa of Prince Arjuna, and it is the identification with Sri Krishna. This is so beautiful because right now many of us have begun celebrating Mahashivaratri. One of the names for Sri Shiva is Shankara. When you open this word, it is sham. Sham means nobility, egolessness. And kara means the one who is doing this, intending for this. And what is the evolution of shankara? Another similar sounding word, shambhu. When you open this up, sham, the same, nobility auspiciousness, but what does Bhu mean? Bhu means being. Shankara is to evolve to Shambhu, not Shri Shiva. That's our message. <laughs> Shri Shiva, you should be part of Meaningful Mornings, I think. <laughs> this is our own evolution from, again, trying to create joy to being joy. 
There are many seekers who are joining us for the first time right now. And so if there were one message from our past year, past 300 mornings, past five chapters, it would be with meaning, you start to follow the right action. Those who do not have meaning in their life, because they're always externalizing, they drift into the wrong actions. But those who are investing in meaning, this is why we call our community Meaningful Mornings, then you're dedicated to the right actions. Another word for that is dharma, responsibility. The meaning helps us to complain less, blame less, and annotate less. Complaints are about circumstances. Blaming is about beings. Annotating is our ego that is expressing that I am an exception. I don't have to be responsible or dharmic or follow the right action. What I'm describing to you is Shankara. And if you are Shankara, you will become Shambhu. But if you're not Shankara, how can you touch Shambhu? And we always want to know, how do I know if I'm becoming Shambhu? Throughout chapter five and all of the chapters, Sri Krishna shares, Vita, Raga, Bhaya, Kroda, Vigata. Icha, bhaya, kroda, you will find that you have less anger, less fear, less desire. Please don't even think about the desire and fear part. Just focus on the anger part. If we all become less angry, that is shifting from trying to create joy. That's what's causing me anger, to being joyous, to being joy. Clear. Clear. From inspiration to application, please listen carefully. This will be the last time I'm sharing this application, and tomorrow's context will change for almost seven weeks. Your application. Your final application was to reflect on the recording that was shared on Friday. When you reflect, this becomes part of you. When we don't reflect, what is a subjective science? This is externalized. That is highly wasteful of your time and effort. And the time and effort of the guide of the map. Reconcile, reflect. This is how you become Sri Krishna. The application for today, moving all the way to April 16th. That is a period of 47 days. Ensure that you have liked and are following Chinmay Mission Niagara social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and especially YouTube. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. He. Be safe, be sound, be serene, be joy. <laughs>